Okay, let's talk about forking and team members on GitHub. So if we uh, come to the home page for GitHub after you're logged in, and there's a couple of tabs here, one for browse activity. This is what's happening on your repos. And discover repository is just a way to uh, see things that are being promoted based on uh, things that you've liked, things that you've starred, things that you've done yourself, uh, matches on keywords, and um, people that you follow as well, and what's being starred, what's being favorited. Uh, so just scanning down through here, um, yeah, here, this looks interesting. Build your own Vue.js. Let's click on that and take a look. All right, this repo, if we look up at the top here, we can see that it has 136 stars. So 136 people have liked this. There's 12 people watching for changes that are being made. You can click watch and star on any repo that you want. Additionally, we can click on fork. This is creating your very own copy of a repo. So I'm going to do that. <clears throat> Pardon me. So we are forking a copy. It's going to become a repo with the same name inside my account. So here's my username and there it is. And in the URL, my username and then there's the name of the repo. Now this is my very own copy. I can make changes to this. I can edit this. I can delete it. I can do anything I want. It's my own full copy of this repo. It's not a branch off of theirs. It is my own copy of this. It's like a photocopy of a document. I have a copy of it now that I can do anything I want with. Um, and really this is the point of having public projects on GitHub. With public projects what you're doing is you are putting code out there to share with other people, to inspire other people to show other people how to do things so you can learn it uh, you can use it as a source of how to learn how to do things as well okay so I've forked a branch here uh, or sorry I forked the repo I haven't made a branch I forked it now the other thing I wanted to show you was okay great you can make copies so if you're working with a few other people you can yes all make forks or fork the same repo so that you're all working with copies of it but it make, still makes it difficult to collaborate it still makes it difficult to work together so what we want to do is we want to actually have everybody working on the same repo and then when people go to work on features they will create branches just like we did in the previous video so if I go into settings right here there's a, uh, a menu item called collaborators this is team members and they always want you to verify your username oops wrong one there we are so now I'm in the collaborator section and inside of here you can search for people by their email address if they've got a github account or by their username if you know their new username so I created a uh, an account the other day just so I would have one to do this and there we go waiting my response so over in here there we are this is my outlook account that i used to create that account i've been invited to collaborate so yeah let's take a look at the invitation okay professor steve invited me to collaborate on this accept the invitation there we are now so i'm in safari here and uh, don't need that i'm in safari I have access to Professor Steve's Build Your Own Vue.js, but I'm not logged in as Professor Steve. So I am actually working on the same copy as myself. <laughs> so both my accounts now, both the Pitcher17 account and the Professor Steve account, both of these accounts are working on the exact same repo. So both people can create branches. Both people can push push uh, files up to the repo. Now there is one difference uh, between the two of them. You'll notice uh, if you look closely that there is no settings tab here. Over on the original one, I am the creator of this repo, so I have a settings tab where I can change settings, add and remove collaborators. The 
collaborators, the people that you invite, they're there to work on the code. They don't have admin access. They can't get to the settings to delete the repo or add other people or remove people from the repo. All right, and that's it. That's really all you need to be able to work on these repos. You just go into collaborators and you can create the list or you can remove people from the list. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.